Andy Sandberg. I'm the director for Zelda at the Awake because it was a really interesting character study. It's very bare bones, as you can see from the production. It's two actors on a stage, one night, and uh, haunting memories. And it's what was the most challenging part of, of this piece? The most challenging part of this piece is, um, gosh, that's a tough question. Uh, for me, anytime I attack a history play or anything based on an actual figure, it's I like to get swept up in the history, but I have to actively detach myself from that and acknowledge these are two characters on a page. Your lover boy and I have a wrong Edwin Cahill, and I play the barman as well as seven other characters in Zelda the Oasis. Novel that really spoke to me and made me think for a while that I'd be interested in philology uh, because I ended up going to the Sorbonne for a literature degree in French. Before that, um, I remember in high school reading The Great Gatsby, and so my connection to the Fitzgeralds um, was really strong. And then when I went to college, uh, I actually did a, a course that was focused on both the Fitzgeralds, and so I wrote a number of different essays and did some studies, and I became really fascinated by them. And then when I was living in Paris, um, I got to hear about them from the French point of view, which was particularly interesting um, because obviously they saw a different side of them and perhaps a side where they were freer than they even were in New York in the Roaring Twenties because Paris was the center for true uh, la vie bohème. Multi-talented prism of pulchritude. <laughs> Zelda! Zelda Fitzgerald! The wife of F. Scott. I'm Gardner Reed, and I was playing Zelda Fitzgerald. Fitzgerald. They just think of crazy woman. And it's so very important to me that people know all of the things that she was, and all of the things that she was capable of, and all the things that she contributed. And that ultimately, if she had been born 80 years later, you know, a doctor would have written her the right prescription, and she would have taken over the world. I understand everything about her. Her paintings, for about 10 years, when I was much younger, I mean, I spent, you know, 10 years, 10 years doing ballet, three years on point, reappropriated for the show, which I think Zelda would appreciate. Also. You are alone, though. Yeah, aren't I always? Dickin' and engulfing and entangling me in my... My name's Pat Lynn, and I am the playwright of Zelda and the Oasis. Piece. Originally, this was part of the celebration for F. Scott Fitzgerald's 100th birthday by the city of Rockville, Maryland's F. Scott Fitzgerald Centennial Committee. They came to me and said, would you write something about Scott, his life, his times, his work? I said, let me do some research and see what I come up with. My research made me much more interested in Zelda than anything else. And so I went back to them and I said, okay, I would like to write a play for you, but it's going to be about Zelda. Great pleasure of being able to develop it at the uh, Lark Play Development Center. The Lark was fantastic in helping me and being supportive. Cross flyer in the back of my desk that was a call for submissions. And I looked at it. It was a small theater down in Laurel, Maryland, a women's theater. I thought, well, this would be interesting. Maybe I'll send them Zelda. I looked at the uh, date that you had to have the submission in by. It was three days from when I looked at it. And it had to be by mail. They wouldn't take electronic submissions. So I figured, OK, I'll send them Zelda. And I know it's late, I'll use it as a calling card, and maybe next year they'll be interested in something else. Within 10 days, they were on the phone, and it opened the 2010 season of uh, Venus Theater down in, uh, in Maryland to a wonderful production also. And after that, we decided to try and give it a shot up here, and I have just had such a joyful experience with this. Artistically, it's been so exciting. And oh, just you were a... Who? Oh. Never mind. I was uh, mistaken. Oh, dear. Life don't seem the same.